Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to Adobe XD 30 days challenge. So yes, welcome to this. Now this challenge is really simple. In the upcoming 30 days, I will be uploading one video every single day, maybe more. And we will be together learning about the Adobe XD. Now I have been a sketch user for a really long time, but now I want to switch it. In order to learn anything, the 30 day challenge is really amazing thing. You should apply this to anything that you want to learn. So let's move forward and what we're gonna do is first and foremost, let me just walk you through that what is Adobe XD. I hope many of you already know about it. And recently for some marketing techniques, uh, they have actually released Adobe XD as a free version. So for all Windows and Mac users, you can go ahead and download the Adobe XD for free now. In the free tier, it's more than enough for our entire series. They give you an Adobe XD, they give you one shared prototype, one active shared design spec, 2GB of cloud storage, which is more than enough. So this should be all good for you. Now I do have Adobe CC account, so I'm gonna be getting all the advantages here, but nothing much here. Okay, so this is Adobe XD introduction. The best thing that I loved about the Adobe XD is I can open up all of my sketch files and I can use all the things that I have been using in sketch like Zeppelin and uh, Dropbox and all these things uh, directly in Adobe XD. So sounds really good. And that's it. So we're gonna just move this guy along here. We can talk about it later. And we can fire up our Adobe XD. Okay, so since this is day one, it can be a little bit terrible, but yeah, this is, this is what we are having. So first and foremost, you can just open up this screen and click on anything to start with a prototype. Now today what we are designing is a app icon. So I need some Android icon for my upcoming app, which will be released probably tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So I need app icon for that. And I don't want to use any, uh, there are lots of other websites like icon eight, flat icon, and you can just uh, download their icons and use them. But either you have to credit the author or have to purchase a license. I'm looking forward to purchase a license of one of them very soon. But right now I don't have a license, so I have to design everything on my own. So I'll be using a custom size. So just write out your 1024 by 1024 here. The reason I'm telling you to use 1024, you will get that a uh, little bit later in this video, but this is useful because this is like the ultimate easy hack way of designing app icons for Android. So we're gonna go for custom size like this, but uh, you can just click on this, it will open up. But uh, what we will be designing is uh, this guy. So let me open this up. So this is what we'll be designing. I know this is not one of the best work that any designer can do, but hey, uh, we are learning the things, turning programmer and starting to learn design as well. So it's gonna be good. So let's just get started with that. I'm gonna create a separate artboard as well, not this one, so Command Z. So I'm gonna go for artboard, which is a custom size of 1024 by 1024. So I'm gonna press a V. Now the V is the key to get this uh, artboard here. So I'm gonna be having A for artboard. And I want to have an artboard by uh, HD. So 1024 by 1024, I was looking forward. But how can I get my customized uh, artboard here? I guess by dragging and drop, yeah, that's that's what we are having. So this one is, uh, this artboard is, uh, how can I select this guy, V, there we go. So I want to select this guy, it's really hard. Okay, there we go, finally I'm able to select that. So 1024 by 1024, I'm gonna be pressing this guy as well, 1024 by 1024, hit enter, there we go. So now we have two artboard. Now the best part is I can use my existing sketch things. So what I did is I actually uh, took this icons here. Now in case you want to have exactly same like that, it's not very typical, you can just press T and in the T you can have this uh, curly brace at one side and that's it. When it gives you a small this iconish guy, you can just uh, expand that, press V, oops, command Z. You can press V to select that and can extend that as much as you want. So in case you want to have exactly something like this, you can have it. And then you can press your option key and move a duplicate of that. And then you can rotate that to, uh, I guess 180 degree and there we go. So this is how you can create similar to this. Uh, I'm gonna be borrowing the one which I've already created. So these icons, I'm gonna be copying them and we'll be pasting them here. And I would be deleting these all the things so that I can redesign in front of you. Okay, 
So this is what we are having in case you want to have a little bit more ish like that you can have it. Okay, I will be turning them into white later on but also one more trick that you can have here is you can just select one of them and press option key and it will give you that how much it is from top and bottom and you can just fix it like that. And in case you want to have like centerish thing you can just click on this entire thing and you can just use these buttons to just make it center-ish from everywhere. Uh, very easy buttons to have it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna design this uh, particular man icon. It's actually really simple to design, but yes, of course, the flat icon ones or the icon eight are much better than what I will be designing as of now. So first and foremost, let's, let's create a rectangle. So I would like to have a rectangle just like this big, which is 126 by 143. And now what I want to do is first and foremost, I want to make it a little bit rounder. So I'm going to just hold this guy and we'll drag it inwards a little bit so that there we go. Almost just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to press my option key or alt key on my Mac and I'm going to press that. And now you can actually drag one size like that. So I want to give it a look of a little bit like face. So only from the center, uh, only from the bottom part, I'm gonna make it roundish. Okay, now it's looking like a little bit like face-ish. Now I'm gonna press R again to make a rectangle and I'm gonna make a rectangle at the top. There we go. And I'm gonna press my option key again and I'm gonna round that a little bit so that it looks like a hair stylish look. And then I would like to have a little bit thicker border there. So probably four is good. And same thing for that. Make sure you press the V key again, press escape a couple of times, then V key. And there we go. And I would like to increase the border of this guy as well. Probably four. Yep, that looks good. And this can have a fill. So we're going to fill it with some uh, color. You can choose exactly the same color that I chose. It looks like hair-ish. And for the border as well, I'm going to pick up the same color. Okay, so there we go. It looks better now. And for the, this is the skin color that I've chosen here. And we are going to have a border. No, not the border, the fill. Select this one. And there we go. You can note down the colors here. It's F7CEB1. There we go. So it looks like a better job this time. Now we need a rectangle. A triangle to make this guy and then we need a rectangle so first we're gonna take down the rectangle so R press R for rectangle and we're gonna have a body like this which is too big we're gonna shrink the body a little bit like that just eyeballing the things okay and we'll do something like that okay there is no such rocket science here just trying to learn the things and designing on the way and I'm gonna be just increasing the body size there we go and uh, i'm gonna be circling it a little bit not from here i'm gonna press my option key so that i can just move it from this side and this side okay this needs to be a little bit okay there we go looks nice okay looks pretty decent press v key to select anything and then we are gonna have a fill I have selected a color for the fill as well. So we're gonna go for this, which is F5BE66. There we go, looks pretty decent. But you know, it also looks pretty good, but I think this white uh, triangle gives a little bit feel of, yeah, it's kind of a suit or something, or maybe a t-shirt like that. So uh, for that, we will be using this pen tool, uh, which is, I guess, P is the shortcut. Yeah, P is the shortcut. Learning the shortcut is actually something good. So we're gonna press Command-2 or Control-2 to get it really uh, pixel perfect there. Really zoomed in. And we're gonna have it like that. And we will be going something like there. There. Looks pretty good. We're gonna shift that a little bit. Okay. And now I'm gonna be filling it up with color. Or probably I can remove the border. No, I'm gonna keep the border. I'm gonna just bump it up to four so that it looks all good. I know this is not good, perfect. So we'll be aligning that like that. Enter, and yep, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna select that. Okay, V key to select. 
move it up a little bit to see how exactly it lines up. Okay, Command 3 is the shortcut to fit it on the screen. I think this looks better. Uh, this one is much more defined. This one was created like too much in quick. Okay, there we go. And our icon looks good. Now it's time to create this guy because it's an app for interview questions. So I think this looks good so far. Now I would like to just select all of this and press Command G or Control G to group them together so that I can move them whenever or wherever I like to. Okay, and now it's time to use this chat box-ish thing. So we're gonna just press R for rectangle. And there we go, looks nice. And escape key, then V key to just move it around like that. Now I'm gonna double click on that to convert it into vector. And now I would like to mark a couple of points at the bottom, like here, uh, one here and one here. What it will do uh, that I can just make it like that. So it looks, see how easy it was. And now hit enter or escape. Yep, escape is the key. Uh, so select that and now we're gonna fill it with, first I'm gonna bump the border a little bit. Three is good. Fill and I'm gonna fill it with color like that. Okay, and previously we I have used this uh, kind of a rectangle-ish thing, but I think I can do better in here. So I'm gonna be typing something, so I'm gonna press T, and I'm gonna just type a question mark. And I'm gonna give this question mark a color of pure white. Okay, this needs to be increased a little bit, so just drag it like that. Looks like interview question app. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna be just putting it up here, something like that. And now I can use this repeat grid. So click on that and now I can just repeat the grid like that. One more and just like that. I'm gonna be a uh, shape like that. Yep, I think it looks better. Yep, definitely better. And I can actually make it a little bit bold or not. I think that looks better. That's that's great actually. So there we go. So this is the icon that I wanted to have, but that's not it. Uh, I wanted to do something more in it. So I'm gonna be just uh, selecting all of this, press Command G to make it a group. And now I'm gonna be moving it a little bit like that. There we go. And moving it like that, a little bit like that. Okay, now what we will be doing is we need an app icon from this and this is not the size of any app icon. So I'll be selecting all of it and I'm gonna be pressing Command G to group that. And now I will be exporting that on my desktop. So uh, I, I believe Command E and Control E are for exporting that. Now notice I haven't selected the entire artboard. I have selected the things which I have just grouped. And I I don't want it to be onto web or iOS or Android. I want it to be designed because when you say Android, it just exports everything in MDPI, HDPI. For iOS, it gives you 1x, 2x, and 3x, but I want it just to be on design. So I'm gonna be saying app icon, and uh, I will be exporting that. No, before exporting that, I forgot to do one more thing, which is uh, select this icon, and I want to fill it with white, pure white and this one also. It's gonna be invisible for a moment, but bear with me. And there we go, now I can select this entire group and I'm gonna be exporting that, so Command E. Yep, app icon. And I'm gonna be saying export. Okay, very quick, very quick to export. Let's see what we are having. And there we go, so this is how it looks. Uh, decent but the actual magic is going to start when we are going to go and move on to an uh, a simple website i'm going to show you that so let me show you that okay where is my website there we go okay so this is the website which i love uh you can also note down the link it's a very amazing work uh by roman roman rick i hope i said the name correct uh, but this is a really amazing app that you can have. The source is also available on the GitHub in case you want to have a look on that, you can. Uh, but I think this is one of the best uh, app work I have ever seen. 
uh, really amazing work. So what you can do here is you can click on this image here and I can go on to 30 days of XD, uh, app icon.png, open that up. And there we go, our app icon is available now. Uh, looks pretty decent and we can say cast shadow and it's gonna cast a shadow on that. I've already selected a green color but feel free to just have a background of uh, whatever the color you like or maybe you want to have a transparent or whatever you like to have. And you can also have clip art text. I don't want to have text. I just want to have uh, this app icons here. And that's all I want to have here. And in case you want other things like score, which is like half here, half there, but I like the cast shadow. You can also have elevated, cast shadow is good. The name is IC Launcher, uh, that's gonna have it. Uh, you can also have circular icons as well with just one click and you can download them. It's so easy there. So let's just download one for the square and then we'll be, so it's gonna be IC Launcher. So I'm gonna be downloading a zip for that. IC Launcher, save that. And uh, then I'm gonna be having underscore circular and I'll be making a circle for that. And there we go, that's what I need for that. So download zip and that's it. That's it, all done for that. Now I have to just replace my existing app icons in XDPI, XHDPI, MDPI and all of that. So this was my very first day with Adobe XD. I know it's not amazing, but eventually when we'll be working, at least I will be working, then we'll be getting better in Adobe XD. I hope you have learned something new and found something good resources in this video. In case you have enjoyed it, do hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you haven't yet joined me on YouTube, subscribe button can surely help you. That's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.